Hello, I'm Guru Scott. On this video, we're going to be doing a transmission, partial drain, and refill on an Isen A650E transmission, and it's on a 2002 Lexus GS300. Now, on our particular transmission, it requires Toyota Type 4 transmission fluid, or you can buy a case of mobile ATF 3309, but check to make sure it's compatible with your transmission. This meets OEM requirements for many Toyota and Lexus vehicles, but specifically for certain ones with the ISIN transmissions requiring a mineral oil-based type lubricant. Um, besides the lubricant, you're gonna need a drain pan, of course. You're gonna need a new drain plug gasket, and you're gonna need some Loctite low strength. And uh, we like to use these clutch long-handled wrenches because it makes it easy. And always wear safety glasses when you're working. And you wanna make sure the vehicle's cooled down enough to where you're not gonna get burned. And any parts that we list, you can look on the description and find where you can get them on Amazon. So with all that said, we'll be back in just a second. All right, at this point, I'm gonna drain the transmission drain pan here. We think about two quarts will come out. That's typically what we see on Toyotas. And the transmission holds much more than that, but we're only gonna take a little bit out. And like I've said earlier, if you do that on a frequent basis, then your transmission fluid ultimately gets changed and stays pretty clean. So um, I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter socket type. Um, I'm gonna use one of these long wrenches. Whoops, got the wrong side. 14 millimeters. And I'm going to loosen the plug. And I've also taken the dipstick out. Ooh, the plug doesn't want to come out easy. I hope it's not stripped. I always hate it when that kind of stuff happens. Um, plug is fighting me, which almost indicates it's cross-threaded. Well, we're going to have to find out. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and pull the plug and let the fluid drain in here. It's a clean drain pan and we want to know exactly how much fluid drains out so that we can put the same amount back in. So with that said, I'll go ahead and continue on this and we'll see what happens. All right, so here's the situation. Um, when I took the old drain plug out, it was very hard to remove. And I know from experience that what happens is inexperienced technicians over torque, in particular, the transmission drain plugs. And this one's grossly over torqued. The threads are all fat and not correct. I wish I could show you a better picture, but here's a brand new drain plug, and here's the old one, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's definitely a big difference between the two. So what I'm gonna do is put a new drain plug in with a new drain plug gasket, flat side goes down, and then I'm gonna use some Toyota seal packing and put it all around here. It's sort of like a high temperature room vulcanized type material and I'm going to insert this to hopefully get it to tighten up to the crush this crush washer, which is only about 10 or 12 foot pounds of torque, maybe 14, certainly not 35 or 50 like obviously this was. And hopefully we'll be able to save this drain pan. Otherwise, we'll have to pull the pan and replace it, which is something really, really I don't want to do. So without further ado, I'm going to put some packing seal material on here and carefully reinsert it and just barely snug it up by hand and I'll feel when the crush washer crushes, crushes and as soon as it comes to a stop then I'm going to stop right there and we're done with that part. Okay so at this point we've put the uh, new plug in and it actually went in very nice and snug so that's good I could feel the crush washer crush and everything was good. So um, what I'm going to do now is I need to take this measuring cup and measure the fluid I took out and put it into a waste container, which I've marked used transmission or waste transmission fluid. And I need to get the exact count on how many quarts or partial quarts to put back in. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is pour them into this um, measuring cup, put them into the waste container, and take a count of how many, uh, in this case, is two cups. So that's a half a quart per one of these measuring containers. And when I get it all transferred over I'll have an exact count of how much I need to put into the transmission with a transmission funnel which looks like this and um, we'll show you that here in just a few minutes. All right at this point I'm ready to add transmission fluid. We actually extracted um, a little bit over three and a half quarts. We measure it out and it's three and a half 
plus just a tiny bit more. So we're going to put three and a half in here and then we're going to start the car and we're going to um, let it warm up and then we're going to check the transmission fluid level because we want to make sure we don't overfill it. We can always add more. We have plenty of this mobile 3309. So I'm going to pour it in very, very slowly because it tends to overfill very quickly. So I'm going to get that done and we're going to come back and talk about what's next. All right, so we uh, topped up the transmission to the amount we think it's going to take and we took it for a drive around the block a couple of times so the transmission fluid should now be hot. So we're going to go ahead and start it and put it through park and neutral and first and through all the gears and then we're going to check the level real quick. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so now we put it through the gears, we're going to put it back into park. And we're going to insert the dipstick. I've already cleaned it off. You have to insert it all the way in until it snaps. Take the dipstick out. And you're going to want to look at the fluid level for the hot mark, which is right here. Shows we're slightly over, so we're going to have to suck some out. So uh, that's just the way it is. We'll have to suck some out and then we'll get it to the right level. And then that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss.